in regard to the direction of research at the research laboratory, there's no question but what the pendulum rapidly began to swing back from the fundamental research, which we like to think was what was going on, or at least some people like to think was what was going on in the research laboratory. When it became the Research and Development Center, it became definitely something much more approaching a development laboratory, a, even a product development laboratory, working quite specifically with various operations, seeking help with their projects, and so forth. Being an innovative company has many ramifications beyond having a research laboratory or a development laboratory, but it also involves having a, a spirit of innovation running throughout the company. The, the freewheeling signs thing which we had in the early 60s, that's no longer, to, will never come back. Because then people were optimistic and everything can come. Now they're more directed research, which is not bad for a company. We were having a press conference in New York about something entirely separate, which I'd been asked to set up in my junior capacity, which Guy Suits attended. And he confided in me at the time, he said, oh, by the way, within a month or two, we're really going to have an extremely exciting announcements to make uh, because our diamond team has really told me they've succeeded in making honest-to-goodness diamonds in the laboratory. One thing the GE did when, when I was there was make artificial diamonds. And that was really what we, today we call an applied research project because they set out to do that. Uh, many years ago, Mr. Reagan was employed by the General Electric Company.